Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to make this video to show you how to assemble a file that you might have purchased or obtained for free. Um, I've seen many posts and I was one of those actually in the beginning. I was so confused about why this file that I had was in like 60 different pieces and then when I went to uh, make it, um, it wasn't at all like what you get for when you, you know, choose a file from Design Space. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So I'm going to insert an image that I, um, I purchased um, and show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this a little bit and resize a little bit. Okay. So <clears throat> if I were to go ahead and make him right now, this is what you're going to get. Here are his white pieces, and they just kind of print them out like like they just cut it out like this. They put the the pieces straight on the um, on the mat. Same with like the yellow. I don't know if you noticed, but um, the yellow were were in his ears, and we've got I don't know four mats that have yellow, and they're all kind of different um, cuts. This is not what we want. This is going to be terrible to put together. There are 14 different mats, but really there's there's five colors, four colors maybe total in the image. So we don't want to do that, obviously. Um, so there's a pretty easy way to fix it. It takes a couple of minutes, and when you get um, you've done it once or twice, it becomes much easier. So the first thing you have to do, and the most important thing, because I was so confused about this in the beginning, you have to ungroup your image. Okay, so I just clicked on the ungroup button in the layers panel here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and um, select all the like colored pieces. So this one here, for example, is the eye right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I clicked on the, the eye part. I'm going to click on the shift key on my keyboard and hold down all of the other white pieces. Now, if something happens and you forget, because, you know, sometimes you have 60, 70 little pieces in a project, so if you forget a white piece, it's not a problem. You can go back afterwards and attach it, um, but I'm just going to show you. So now I think I've selected all the ones um, that, uh, that are white in this piece, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to attach. All right, there we go. So I'm going to do the same thing for my black pieces. Shift, hold the shift key while I select all the black pieces. Okay, so there's this black piece at the bottom here. This is his base. You don't want to attach that because that's going to be the base for, for your project. Um, and you can choose to go ahead and uh, cut that out or not. Um, it depends. If you choose not to, you just click the little I button here and he'll disappear from, from your cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and attach all the other black pieces. So now if you've noticed, my image, some of the white has gone away. So this is going to happen sometimes. And it's simply because um, you've just done something on another piece and it brings it to the front. So no fret, no worries. Um, if you want that white back, you know that it has to be in front of the black layer. So you go ahead and you select your white pieces right here. And then you go to this arrange here and you go move to front. And there you go. He has his little eyeballs again. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this with all the other pieces. So this is the blue pieces. This is the yellow pieces. See how many pieces are there for the yellow? And remember how it was like printed or cutting out on four mats. We don't want that. So we're going to attach it. And I've noticed that there's this little red piece here. Um, if I zoom in, I'm not sure that's quite supposed to be there. Sometimes that happens in these images that, you know, you've got a little piece there. It doesn't belong. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to select it and, and delete it. I just don't see the point um, in um, cutting that out. Uh, as far as I know, he's not, I haven't seen that color on him. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and do these turquoise pieces. Touch. And you see how the turquoise came to the front? 
You can either um, select your others or move it to the back. And then, yeah, so see now the black is up front. So I moved it too far back. So now I'm just going to go arrange, move forward. There you go, until he comes to where he's supposed to. So here's a little blue piece. I think I attached some blue pieces earlier. And like I said, you just go back and find the like pieces. Shift. You click on the one that says attach because that's the little the group. Attach. Okay. And I believe that's it. So if you're wondering, okay, is, have I done this correctly? Just go into your make it. And then you'll see how it turns out. So it looks like our white is pretty good. See, this is the, the base uh, that I was talking to you about the yellow, the turquoise, and the blue. And we have five knots. That's what we wanted. So then if you wanted to cut this up, you just go ahead and cut. So, you know, including this video, I think it was what, you know, five minutes. Um, it doesn't take very long. And you know what? I honestly learned so much doing it this way. I, I feel like, oops, I keep clicking. <laughs> my, my computer's slow. I find that I, um, have learned so much doing this, um, assembling this. I feel more confident in, in using Design Space. Um, it's, it's been a great experience for me. I mean, yes, you know, it's nice to have them in nice little packages, but sometimes that's, you know, if I'm going to pay a dollar, well, I can't expect that, you know, and I paid, I think, a dollar for like 50 of these characters. So I don't expect them to be in neat little layers, and I don't mind doing the job myself. I'm not going to do all 50 at once anyway. Um, last thing that I wanted to tell you is that if you want to resize, you can go ahead, you just select all and resize, and you don't have to worry about your, your layers or anything. They're all done, just like any other image. You can do it before or after. It doesn't really matter. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to help, and uh, happy